Hello and welcome back to the Watford Way. Just thought I'd pop on here and do a very, very quick match reaction to the Coventry City game. I did do a live match watch long on the channel earlier today. So if you want to go back and check my live reactions to the goals as they went in, feel free to do so. I'll try and put the link in the description down below as well. And before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, um, and let me know, let me know your thoughts on the match in the comment section down below um and yeah really a tale of two halves Watford first half superb second half not so much two goals uh, for Watford in the first half first one coming courtesy of Joao Pedro amazing run about 50 60 yard run from Joao Pedro uh, Porteous uh, with a decent pass into Joao into into a lot of space actually um, and Joao Pedro we all know the dribbling ability he has he has such good control um, with the ball close to his feet he goes in a nice mazy run through a few defenders and he slots the ball into the bottom right hand corner the goalkeeper didn't get anywhere near it and Joao Pedro put Watford 1-0 up to the good. Um, at that point, it was very, very comfortable for Watford with largely limited Coventry to very few opportunities. I'd probably expected more from Co from Coventry, actually, um, considering the position they're currently in in the championship table. Um, and just before half-time, Imran Loser scores Watford's second goal of the game. Um, he actually had an initial shot that was blocked. Comes back to him on the half volley, Imran Loser. Uh, slots it into the bottom right-hand corner, similar to João Pedro in the first half as well. Um, and for Watford, really, it all went wrong because of our goalkeeper, Ben Hamer. Now, I'm not going to blame Ben Hamer too much. He's a 35-year-old reserve goalkeeper who's not played professional football um, probably in over a year. He'd come in to kind of deputise for Daniel Batman after his ridiculous sending off against Huddersfield, his kung fu kick. If you guys go back to that game, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, and yeah, you know, Ben Hayner made a couple of good saves in this game, but he didn't really cover himself in any glory for the first Coventry City goal. Um, ball come out to the Coventry plate on the edge of the box. It was a decent strike. Um, not a worldie, not in the top corner. Um, and yeah, I don't know what he was doing. If you actually go back and watch it in the replay, he kind of signalled with his arm like I'm doing now, almost as if he was shepherding the ball out of play. So it looked like from where I was watching, um, Ben Hamer thought the ball wasn't actually going to go into the net. And then suddenly um, Coventry scored, you know, the crowd are on their side um, and they've got everything to play for really. Coventry City, um, unlike Watford, still have a potential chance of getting into them playoff positions this season. Um and yeah, you know, it just wasn't it, it, it wasn't a great way to win the game. Ben Hamer made the mistake. Then Coventry's second goal come, uh, I think it was a Porteous mistake, actually. He kind of missed the header. I think it fell to Ben Sheaf in the penalty area. Um, and all he had to do really was get a good contact on it, which he did. Ben Hamer wasn't going to save it. The shot was too powerful. Um, and that made it Coventry City 2, Watford 2. And then Coventry could have had a chance to win it late on. Hassan Kamara tripping up a commentary player in the box. The referee waved it away and said no penalty, although on the replay it did look like Kamara made contact um, and Coventry really should have been awarded a penalty in the game. So Watford lucky to come away with a point, really. Um, positive to take from the first half, um, but look, the season's over. There's not much to play for. All we want to see now is a bit of heart, a bit of passion, a bit of desire. Um, and yeah, you know, hopefully we can end the season on the positive note. Hopefully we'll find out soon what the plans are for next season in regards to Chris Wilder and whether he's going to stay at the club. Um, and yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I hope you guys had a fantastic Easter. I've eaten a lot of chocolate. I'm a little bit fill up now. I feel a little bit sick because I've ate too much. Um, but yeah, as I mentioned earlier, please subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments section down below. And I'll catch you guys again very, very soon. Bye bye.